Welcome to What is Going On in the UC and today we're going to talk about how to be an ideal human. So, what is an ideal human? In the Bible it says that God made the man to take care of the garden. He even let Adam name everything. He wanted to be in a partnership. We know that God wanted to co-create with Adam. When we talk about heaven, we're talking about an unfolding of events, a system, a cycle of events. We're talking about a way of thinking, a way of behaving, a way of approaching relationships, a way of approaching sex, a way of parenting, and a way of influencing the world through your parenting, through your art. All of these things are a way of influencing the thinking of the next generation. We go back to the beginning and the cycle goes on and on and on like that. And this cycle, as it unfolds, results in every stage in joy. What is hell? Hell is a way of thinking, behaving, a way of treating people, an approach to sex, a way of parenting, a way of influencing the environment. And all of this is a way of influencing the thinking of the next generation. It is also a cycle. Within both of these cycles are mind-body unity or disunity, husband-wife unity or disunity, the proper way or the improper way to uh, engage with the environment. We talked about lineage a few episodes back. It is a system of influence with specific content serves to influence the thinking of the next generation. For God, that influence is the way of true love. For Satan, that influence is the way of fallen nature, the way of trying to take love, the way of trying to cover myself because I feel naked, because I feel as though love is missing, a way of trying to manipulate love. Satan's lineage is a cycle of influence where Satan influences his children to take, to think about taking, act to take, take in relationships, take in sex, and even take from our children. Take from the environment, and all of this influences the next generation. This is a way of understanding satanic lineage. And if you really see the entire system surrounding all of us, there's no way that you want to participate in hell any longer. Okay? It is only because you've never seen the system at work that you think you might want to negotiate with it. God deals with people who don't want any part of Satan's world anymore because they see it for what it is. Now, what does it mean to be an ideal person? And we could see the entire system partnering with God to promote true love influence at all the stages that I mentioned earlier. So if we could step back and see that whole system and be on board with God, okay? That makes us the ideal person. You see this system? We're looking at the world as it results. But looking from the position of lineage, the world, the good world is, is resulting because of ideal people. Because of people whose mind is fully awake to what God has been trying to do with all of this stuff with ourselves, with all things, with the whole idea of, of family, to be able to see it all. And because we partner with God, the universe unfolds now because of us in a way that God can call heavenly. Because our minds are filled with fragments of truth and lies, we are not really the center of harmony that we're supposed to be. That's why the universe is crying, groaning in travail, waiting for us to figure out who we are. We adopted the ignorance or the lies of Satan. The universe still responds to us, but because we're sick, the world is sick. That's hell. We are supposed to be the center of harmony. And that doesn't mean that you can sit on your, your, your tush and not care about your mind. We have to understand the right way to influence at each stage of the system. And I'll say it again. It's a way of thinking that is heavenly. It is a way of behaving that is heavenly. It is a way of interacting as brothers and sisters that is heavenly. You know, the whole idea of rightness is being able to take responsibility for the entire system. And, you know, I can hear some of you politically correct BCs out there. 
poisoned with political, poisoned with political correctness, saying, man, that's kind of, you know, dictatorial. But hey, look, God has the right to choose who he wants to make his greatest creation with. And he did not want to make it with people who were less than ready. Okay, people who are ready are people who have the mind of true parents or willing to take responsibility for the entire system of influence. Such people are called true parents. These are the people that God wanted to partner with. I mean, if you were God and you knew that things were going to go awry with anything less, it, wouldn't you withhold the fruit from Adam and Eve too? Okay, so that's why God withheld the fruit because he, he does not want to do the baby making thing with people who are not ripe, who are not willing to see and take responsibility for the entire system of influence. Well, Lucifer jumped in there. He saw the system of influence and he wanted to run things. That's why he stepped in. And Adam and Eve let him run things. And right now we're letting him run things and acting like we didn't do it. Acting like we're not responsible. We see all this mess and we're not responsible. But anyway, it is an approach to sex that is heavenly. It is a it is is a style of parenting that is heavenly. It is an interacting interacting with all things, with the culture, with the environment that is heavenly. And all of this, all of this is as God puts your children, puts our children in a garden of good influence. It's a system of influencing the next generation, the next generation of lords who will rise up and take care of the Garden of Eden the way we did. Alright? Be ideal. Father has taught us everything. Talk to you later.